So there was a new update for Final Cut and they released a feature that's pretty revolutionary when it comes to noise reduction and cleaning up audio. It's called voice isolation and you'll find it in your inspector when you have your audio highlighted. And it's very similar to a lot of the other Final Cut tools where there's a lot going on, but they've made it super simple so that you only have to do a few tweaks and then you're gonna have good audio. This is a one click solution to be able to make your audio pop and to get rid of all background noise. So I have a few samples here on my timeline that I wanna show you just the difference before and after and how this works. So here's a shot from one of my adventure films when I was out climbing. It's of my buddy Carlos and you can hear the sound of wind and water in the background. One of us is gonna wrap down and gonna start ice climbing up this side ledge over onto this wall, onto top of this, uh, this glacier. It's gonna be pretty awesome. So here's the same audio clip at 50% isolation. One of us is gonna wrap down and gonna start ice climbing up this side ledge over onto this wall, onto top of this, uh, this glacier. It's gonna be pretty awesome. Now for a shot like this, you're not necessarily gonna be able to clean up everything, but you will be able to make his voice stand out much better. So you highlight the audio, you go up to Interior Inspector, you click on Voice Isolation, and I always start around 50%. I found that's a good starting point where you're not gonna start distorting the voice, but you're gonna be able to clean up the background. Now, just for comparison, let's put it at 75%. One of us is gonna wrap down and gonna start ice climbing up this side ledge over onto this wall, onto top of this, uh, this glacier. It's gonna be pretty awesome. And so you could see the drastic difference between these shots and how much cleaner his vocals are. So let me show you another shot that's a common issue, a GoPro. I used to use GoPros all the time when I was vlogging and the audio just was pretty bad. So here's a shot just straight from a GoPro when I was walking down a dock and you can hear all of these sounds. All right, so this island, you have to pay 300 baht per person to get on. So this is the national park. It's a little bit different than the other islands where you just pulled up and you know wandered. Now let's put on 50% isolation and here is the difference. All right, so this island, you have to pay 300 baht per person to get on. So this is the national park. It's a little bit different than the other islands where you just pulled up and you know wandered. So not only will it get rid of all those sounds of the water and the ocean and mute them significantly, but also if you notice a lot of the background sounds like the boats are missing too. It cleans up all the audio that's not your vocals. Now it's not perfect. It's not gonna be your one click solution all the time, but for a lot of situations, it is going to be able to reduce your background ambience. So here's another shot where I was in a tent and you could tell that there's audio frequencies that are closer to my voice with the sound of the rain hitting the tent. Still just sitting in a tent, waiting for the weather to clear. Now here's the sound with the isolation turned on. Still just sitting in a tent, waiting for the weather to clear. Now for this shot specifically, there were some audio frequencies that were mixing with my vocals, and so it wasn't as good of a cleanup, but it still does reduce the background noise, and it does make it much cleaner. And also one other thing I noticed is that it will help cut down on reverb. So if you're in a super echoey room, you can apply this voice isolation and it's gonna make it sound much cleaner. So this is a shot from one of my clients when we we're shooting in a super echoey studio. Go for it. You've got it. Four, three, two, one. Whoo! Now I added just 50% of this voice isolation and now this is what it sounds like. Go for it. You've got it. Four. Three, two, one, whoo. So this is a great tool to experiment with and if you have some background noise, it's really gonna help make your vocals stand out. And next, make sure you check out this video right here which is gonna go through a bunch of different techniques on how you can produce better looking videos when you're out by yourself as a solo creator.